Hello everyone, welcome to Mars. We are so happy, because we got huge response, in our first Mars video. That inspired us to make, Mars in 4K, part 2. So, sit tight, and enjoy. The shallow spirit of St. Louis Crater, is about 110 feet long, and about 80 feet wide, with a floor slightly darker, than surrounding terrain. Lindbergh Mound is about 7 to 10 feet tall, rising higher than the crater's rim. The names carry references to Charles Lindbergh's, Ocean Crossing, in the airplane Spirit of St. Louis, designed by Charles D. Hall. Lindbergh named the plane, to recognize financial backing for the flight from St. Louis residents, including Harold M. Bixby, and Harry H. Knight. This scene combines, seven images from the telephoto lens camera, on the right side of the mast cam, instrument on NASA's Mars rover Curiosity. That was shortly before, Curiosity saw 343 drive of 111 feet. The rover had driven 205 feet, to arrive at the location providing this vista. The center of the scene, is toward the southwest. A rise topped by two gray rocks, near the center of the scene, is informally named Twin Cairns Island. It is about 100 feet, from Curiosity's position. The two gray rocks, combined, are about 10 feet wide, as seen from this angle. A southward-looking panorama, combining images from both cameras of the mast cam, shows diverse geological textures on Mount Sharp. Three years after landing on Mars, the mission is investigating the Slayered Mountain, for evidence about changes in Martian environmental conditions, from an ancient time, when conditions were favorable, for microbial life to the much drier present. Gravel and sand ripples fill the foreground, typical of terrains, that curiosity traversed to reach Mount Sharp. Outcrops in the midfield, are of two types, dust-covered, smooth bedrock that forms the base of the mountain, and sandstone ridges that shed boulders as they erode. Rounded buttes in the distance contain sulfate minerals, perhaps indicating, a change in the availability of water when they formed. Some of the layering patterns, on higher levels of Mount Sharp in the background, are tilted at different angles than others, evidence of complicated relationships, still to be deciphered. This mid-afternoon, 360-degree panorama was acquired by the mast cam, on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover. The view combines dozens of images taken, by mast cam's left high camera, from a location, on top of what rover team members call Naukloft Plateau, on lower Mount Sharp, which stands inside Gale Crater. The foreground and middle distance, show a geologic scene dominated by, eroded remnants of a finely layered ancient sandstone deposit. Since landing, the rover traversed through terrains, dominated by water lane sedimentary rocks, mudstones and siltstones, and early on, conglomerates, some of which have contained minerals, like clays that attest to the ancient presence of water. However, the rover crossed into very different geology, while climbing onto the Naukluft Plateau. The sandstone here appears to be dominated by, thick layers of wind-blown sand, suggesting that these deposits formed, in a drier epoch. These rocks resemble the types of rocks, that a dune field like the Bagnold Dunes, would form if buried. This 360-degree panorama, shows the vista, while the Sun was, nearly directly in between, Mars and Earth, limiting communications. The view combines 276 different exposures, taken with Opportunity's panoramic camera, with three filters, at each pointing. Opportunity skirted, the west rim of Victoria, and, at the point from which, this panorama was taken had reached a position, about a kilometer southwest, of the south rim of the crater. Bonneville Crater, is a nickname, given to a feature explored by Rover. It was inspired by the prehistoric Lake Bonneville, that once covered a great portion of, modern-day Utah. Geologists can still find, signs of its ancient shoreline terracing Utah's mountains, and valleys and hoped to find signs of, past water in the Martian rock record as well. This view southeastward, from Curiosity's mast camera shows terrain, judged difficult for traversing, between the rover, and an outcrop in the middle distance, where a pale rock unit, meets a darker rock unit above it. This observation helped the rover team, evaluate routes for driving to the geological contact area, where the two rock units meet. The outcrop, exposing the contact is in the eastern portion, of the Logan Pass area. The wind-blown ripples, and the steep ground, where ripples are lacking are both poor terrain, for the rover to cross. 
The team subsequently, chose to approach a different site, where the pale, and dark Iraq units are in contact with each other. That alternative site, is in the northern portion of the Logan Pass area, outside of this scene. This mosaic image, shows the first target, Curiosity aims to zap, with its chemistry and camera instrument. ChemCam, will be firing a laser, at this rock, provisionally named N-165, and analyzing the glowing, ionized gas, called plasma, that the laser excites. The instrument will analyze, that spark with a telescope, and identify the chemical elements, in the target. The rock is just off to the right of the rover. The two prominent, mesas in this view of Mars Murray Buttes region, from NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, are about 260 feet apart. The top of the one, on the left, is about 26 feet above the surrounding plane, and about 330 feet, from Curiosity's position, when the rover acquired this view. The mesa on the right, is about 33 feet high. The top of it, is about 270 feet from the rover. Upper Mount Sharp is the Salmon Huth Mound, dominating the horizon, between the scene's two prominent mesas. The component images of this mosaic, were taken by the right eye camera, of the rover's mast camera, which has a telephoto lens. The rover's panoramic camera, PanCam, recorded this view. This view combines multiple images, taken through three different PanCam filters. The crater's diameter, is about 90 feet. From the small amount of erosion, or filling, that Orion Crater has experienced, its age is estimated, at no more than 10 million years. It lies on the western rim of Endeavour Crater. For comparison, Endeavour is about 14 miles in diameter, and more than 3.6 billion years old. This rock encountered, by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, is an iron meteorite called Lebanon, similar in shape, and luster, to iron meteorites found, on Mars by the previous generation of rovers, Spirit and Opportunity. Lebanon is about 2 yards, or 2 meters wide, left to right, from this angle. The smaller piece, in the foreground is called Lebanon B. This view combines, a series of high-resolution circular images, taken by the remote microimager, of Curiosity's chemistry and camera instrument, with color and context, from rover's mast camera. This image shows, the twin peaks, which are modest size hills. The peaks are approximately, 100 feet tall. North twin, is approximately 860 meters, from the lander, and south twin, is about a kilometer away. The scene includes, bouldery ridges, and swales or hummocks of flood debris, that range from a few tens of meters, away from the lander to the distance, of the south twin peak. This view from the mast cam, in NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, shows the Maria's Pass area, where a lower, and older, geological unit of mudstone, the pale zone, in the center of the image, lies in contact with an overlying geological unit, of sandstone. Just before Curiosity reached Maria's Pass, the rover's laser-firing ChemCam instrument, examined a rock found to be rich in silica, a mineral-forming chemical. A wheel track cuts through, a wind-blown ripple of dusty sand in this image. The view spans about 4 feet, from left to right. The rover team planned, this experiment to get a view of the inside of the ripple, for assessment of particle sizes, distribution, and composition. The site is near the lower edge, of the Pahrump Hills outcrop, at the base of Mount Sharp. One motive for this experiment, is to gain a better understanding of loose, wind-carried deposits in the area. Some nearby wind drifts, that Curiosity drove into, were more difficult to cross, than drifts experienced earlier, in the mission. The far wall of the track offers, a cross-section view of the ripple. A series of five small holes arranged, in a line in the left half of the image, are where laser firings by Curiosity's chemistry and camera instrument, were used for identifying chemical elements present. This vista, from NASA's Mars Exploration Rover, Opportunity shows Vidoviak Ridge, from left foreground to center, as part of a northward look, with the rover's tracks visible at right. Opportunity's panoramic camera, recorded the component images for this mosaic. The ridge stands prominently, on the western rim of Endeavour Crater, about 200 yards west, of the rim's main crest line. Its informal name, is a tribute to Opportunity Science team member, Thomas J. Vidoviak. This panorama spans, about 70 compass degrees, from north-northwest, on the left, 
to east-northeast, on the right. Vidovia Cridge, rises steeply about 40 feet, from base to top. It extends about 500 feet in length. For scale, the distance between, Opportunity's parallel wheel tracks, is about 3.3 feet. This 360-degree panorama, was acquired by Curiosity, while the rover was in an area, called Murray Buttes, on Lower Mount Sharp, one of the most scenic landscapes, yet visited by any Mars rover. North is at both ends and south is in the center. The dark, flat-topped mesa near the center of the scene, rises to about 39 feet, above the surrounding plain. From the rover's position, the top of this mesa is about 131 feet away, and the beginning of the debris apron, at the base of the mesa, is about 98 feet away. In the left half of the image, the dark butte, that appears largest sits eastward, from the rover and about 33 feet high. An upper portion of Mount Sharp, appears on the horizon, to the right of it. This panorama is a mosaic of images, taken by the mast camera, on Curiosity. The rover was near a location, called Point Lake, for an overlook of a shallow depression, called Yellowknife Bay, which is in the left third of this scene, in the middle distance. Malin Space Science Systems, San Diego, developed, built, and, operates MASTCAM. Every spring, the sun shines on the side, of the stack of layers, at the North Pole of Mars, known as, the North Polar Layer Deposits. The warmth destabilizes the ice, and blocks break loose. When they reach, the bottom of the more than 500 meter tall cliff face, the blocks kick up a cloud of dust. The layers beneath are different colors, and textures, depending on the amount of dust, mixed with ice. This image was captured, on May 29, 2019 by the high-rise camera, on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, spacecraft. This view shows the path, and some key places, in a survey of the Pahrump Hills outcrop, by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover. The outcrop is at the base of Mount Sharp, within Gale Crater. The missions in place investigation of the layered mountain, began at the low edge, of the Pahrump Hills outcrop, at the target Confidence Hills. Curiosity collected a drilled sample of rock powder, at that target, and delivered portions of the powder, into analytical instruments inside the rover. Then the mission began, a walkabout of the outcrop, similar to the way field geologists, on Earth walk across an outcrop, to choose the best places on it, to examine in detail. The dashed gold line indicates, the path the rover drove during the walkabout. Names are shown for a few of the features, visited, and observed, by the rover. Red dots indicate stops, at the end of a day's drive. White dots indicate locations of stops, made during the drives, to collect observations of the Pahrump Hills outcrop. The mission completed, the walkabout at the site labeled Whale Rock, and the team is now examining the observations, acquired during the walkabout, to decide where to return for more detailed analysis. This annotated mosaic depicts, a possible route the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover, could take across, Yezero Crater, as it investigates several ancient environments, that may have once been habitable. The route begins at the cliffs, defining the base of a delta produced by, a river as it flowed into a lake, that once filled the crater. The path then traverses up, and, across the delta, toward possible ancient shoreline deposits, and then climbs the 2,000-foot-high crater rim, to explore the surrounding plains. About half of this traverse, could be completed in Perseverance's prime mission. A widely asked question about Curiosity is, how does Curiosity Mars rover take pictures of itself? Answer is simple. The final picture, is a mosaic created from about 30, or more individual shots taken, from many slightly different angles, the final shots used, to create the mosaic, are all ones where the arm cannot be seen, or can be easily hidden by overlaying one shot, with another. A real life example. Imagine you wanted to take a picture of yourself. So, you held out the camera, and took the picture, but didn't like to see your arm, extended towards the camera. You could take two pictures, one with each hand, and, then combine the pictures, so that you end up with a single picture, with both arms down at your sides. It would look like, the camera was being held by someone else. Mm -hmm.